to nano diamond batteries, this could soon be a reality. This isn't just any battery, it turns nuclear waste into energy and can last up to 28,000 years. This could be the last time you ever charge a battery. Imagine a world where your devices never die, your pacemaker lasts longer than you do, and satellites hum through space for decades without a pause. It sounds like science fiction, but in 2025, that fiction becomes fact. Team Diamond is encased in another layer of protective diamonds. This makes the batteries not only powerful, but also extremely safe. A new kind of power source is emerging, one built from nuclear waste and the hardest substance known to man, diamond. These aren't just batteries. They're promises of a future with fewer wires, less waste, and endless power. And the journey begins now. The question is, are we ready for forever? The spark that changed everything. For decades, the idea of a battery that could outlive the device it powered was just a dream. Every battery we've known has had one thing in common. It dies. Whether in phones, cars, or space probes, they all needed charging or replacement. Then came the whisper of something different. Not bigger or faster, but longer lasting, much longer. It started with a question. What if the energy locked in radioactive waste could be safely harnessed? Enter nuclear diamond batteries, a blend of two unlikely partners, carbon-14, a radioactive isotope, and diamond, Earth's most unbreakable material. Instead of using light like solar panels, these new cells feed on particles released during radioactive decay. The energy is constant, clean, and astonishingly stable. Suddenly, the world of energy didn't need plugs. It needed patience. No explosions, no melting cores, just a quiet, steady pulse, lasting not for years, but centuries. As researchers pressed deeper, they found something even more remarkable. The technology didn't just work. It could be scaled, made safe, and molded to fit tiny devices or power space missions. In a world starved for better energy, this wasn't a spark. It was ignition, and so began the quiet revolution, one invisible to most, but set to change everything. Power from a ghost. Deep inside old nuclear reactors, carbon sits in silence, slowly breaking down. It's called carbon-14, and to most, it's just waste. Dangerous, unwanted, forgotten. But what if that waste held a secret? What if it could power the future? When carbon-14 decays, it releases something called beta particles, tiny high-energy electrons. They're invisible, but not useless. Engineers discovered they could capture these particles using diamond, not an ordinary diamond, but a synthetic diamond grown from carbon-14 itself. It's like building the battery out of the fuel it runs on. This process is called beta-voltaic conversion. As the carbon decays, the diamond traps the particles and turns their energy into electricity. No moving parts, no flames, just pure, constant power. And because the diamond is also a natural shield, no harmful radiation escapes. The danger stays locked inside while the energy flows out. It's elegant. It's precise, and it lasts. Carbon-14 has a half-life of over 5,000 years. That means even after millennia, the battery still works, though with less strength. Unlike lithium batteries, it doesn't mind the cold, or heat, or space. It just keeps working. This isn't just power, it's persistence. And it all begins with a ghost of energy, pulled from waste, locked in stone. The battery that outlives us. Imagine a pacemaker that never needs replacement, a sensor buried under a glacier that keeps working for decades, a satellite drifting in orbit, always alive, never drained. That's the promise of nuclear diamond batteries. These aren't batteries you replace. They're batteries you forget because they just don't stop. While your phone's lithium battery dies after a few years, a diamond battery could last longer than your lifetime, not with bursts of power, but a steady, quiet stream. For small devices like medical implants, space sensors, or scientific instruments, that's more than enough. Their advantage isn't just longevity, it's reliability. These batteries don't care if it's freezing or burning hot. They don't fail when the temperature swings or the pressure drops. They're sealed tight, immune to the elements, perfect for places where you can't go, deep underground, underwater, or out in space. And they don't leak or corrode. There's no fire risk. No explosion, no smoke, just a durable, invisible heartbeat. It's not science fiction anymore. Several companies are building them right now. And for the first time, they're not prototypes hidden in labs. 
They're being tested in real-world devices, tiny sensors, medical tools, and even luxury watches. The future of power isn't flashy. It's quiet, it's timeless, and it might already be in your hand. The race begins with NDB. In a small California lab, a bold idea took shape. It wasn't backed by a giant corporation or government agency. It came from a startup called NDB Inc. Nano Diamond Battery. Founded in 2012 by energy visionary Nima Golsharifi, this company aimed to do what no one else had, make nuclear batteries safe, scalable, and commercial. They weren't chasing headlines. They were building something that could last forever. NDB's design uses layers of synthetic diamond stacked like a tiny energy sandwich. Each layer captures beta particles from decaying carbon-14, converting them into electricity. These batteries are made from diamonds that have been synthetically grown in the lab. So what we're trying to do is to have the carbon-14. The result? A battery that powers itself. No plug, no charger, no maintenance. For years, it sounded too ambitious. But by 2023, NDB had working prototypes. One of them powered a small Bluetooth device for over a year, non-stop, without recharging. It fit in your pocket, but packed the endurance of a power station. The company has now secured partnerships across multiple industries, medical, aerospace, and industrial. They're not trying to power your phone, at least not yet. They're focused on places where power loss isn't just annoying, it's dangerous or expensive, and investors are listening. With over $20 million in venture capital and a valuation topping $250 million, NDB isn't just experimenting anymore. They're leading the charge into a future that never shuts off. Now first, like always, be sure to hit the like button down below. It helps us out tremendously with the reach of this video. Thank you. Arkenlight's silent advance. While NDB made headlines in Silicon Valley, Another team was quietly working across the Atlantic. In a UK lab, a group of nuclear physicists from the University of Bristol had a different vision. Their company, Arkenlight, didn't shout. It engineered. Where NDB layered diamonds, Arkenlight went deeper into the waste itself. Their breakthrough? A purification process that isolates and concentrates carbon-14 with unmatched precision. It's called tritium diamond technology, and it allows for a denser, more efficient battery, one with greater power in a smaller package. They aren't trying to power everything. They're aiming at the things that matter most. Arkenlight's strategy is focused, scientific instruments, medical devices, deep sea and space sensors, environments where replacing a battery is difficult or even impossible, places where reliability isn't optional. This technology is particularly suitable for places where you either can't access it because it's in space or it's subsea. By 2024, they had miniaturized their tech by 60% without losing power. Medical regulators in Europe approved their first trials for non-implantable devices. It was a small win, but one that proved this wasn't theory anymore. And Arkenlight's other strength? Transparency. They've opened their doors to regulators, helped write safety guidelines, and built trust from the inside out. That move could speed up their path to market, while others wait for approvals. Arkenlight is already halfway through the door. They may be quiet, but they're precise, and they're coming fast. The Breakthrough Year 2024 wasn't just another step forward. It was the leap everyone had been waiting for. After years of research and cautious optimism, the technology finally touched real-world ground. It started in March when NDB unveiled a battery no larger than a coin. It wasn't just a prototype, it worked. It powered a Bluetooth device continuously, no recharge, no drop in performance for an entire year. People took notice. Then came Arkenlight's announcement in July. They'd succeeded in shrinking their design by more than half without sacrificing output. That meant a future where these batteries could fit inside medical monitors or compact sensors. The European Union responded by greenlighting preliminary testing in medical tools. The quiet science was now getting loud approvals. On the manufacturing side, both companies leveled up. NDB opened a facility in Silicon Valley, producing hundreds of units a month. 
Arkenlight completed their isotope processing plant in collaboration with the UK Atomic Energy Authority, solving a critical supply chain puzzle. Meanwhile, Stanford researchers published a new lattice structure that improved energy conversion by 25%. That paper was quickly licensed by major players. Most important of all, the International Atomic Energy Agency issued a safety report. Their verdict? These batteries, when properly made, pose no radiation threat. The science was ready. The stage was set. Power finds its purpose. Technology means nothing without a reason to exist, but in 2024, that reason became clear. The world began finding uses that weren't just possible, they were necessary, and nuclear diamond batteries started finding their homes. The aerospace industry was first in line. Satellites need constant power, but in space, the sun isn't always reliable. When they pass into Earth's shadow, solar panels go dark. Traditional batteries lose juice. But diamond batteries? They never blink. A leading satellite firm signed on to use them in their next generation of orbital systems, with a launch planned for early 2025. Medical tech followed. Devices like pacemakers and neural stimulators have lifespans measured in battery cycles. Every few years, patients must undergo surgery, often just to change a power source. Now, several health tech companies have partnered with diamond battery firms. The first human trials for wearable health monitors using this tech are set for late 2025. Then came infrastructure. Remote sensors, tracking bridges, pipelines, or ocean conditions are hard to reach. When their batteries die, so does safety. But not anymore. An industrial sensor company has already redesigned its products to house diamond cells, sensors that might last for decades. It's not just theory now. From orbit to your body, this new power is quietly finding its place. The money follows the light. When technology shows promise, money pays attention. But when it promises to last for thousands of years, money doesn't just pay attention, it rushes in. Over the past 18 months, the investment world has thrown open its vaults for nuclear diamond batteries. In 2023 alone, venture capital funding for the sector topped half a billion dollars. That's nearly three times the total from the year before. Energy tech funds scrambled to create dedicated portfolios, all betting on the same thing, that forever power might become the backbone of a new industrial era. Analysts are now projecting a $3.8 billion market by 2030 just for the high-value niches like medical, aerospace, and industrial monitoring. But by 2035, once production scales and prices drop, the market could explode past $20 billion. Why such optimism? These batteries hit all the right notes. They support sustainability by turning nuclear waste into something useful. They reduce maintenance costs across thousands of use cases. And they fit into a world becoming more connected, more remote, more demanding. Governments are buying in, too. The UK launched a $75 million innovation fund specifically for diamond battery development. In the US, the Department of Energy announced a research initiative focused on isotope processing. The future isn't just powered by innovation, it's being bankrolled by belief. Safer than you think. Say nuclear battery, and most people think of danger. Glowing green goo, radiation warnings, but the truth is far less dramatic and far safer. Nuclear diamond batteries don't glow, they don't leak, and they don't pose the kind of threat most imagine. At their heart, these batteries use beta particles from carbon-14. In this case, we're using carbon-14. These particles are weak, so weak they can't even penetrate a sheet of paper. The synthetic diamond surrounding the isotope acts as both a power converter and a shield. It traps the radiation inside, keeping users completely safe. You'd get more radiation from eating a banana than from holding one of these batteries. Still, safety isn't about perception, it's about proof. And the proof is arriving. In 2024, the International Atomic Energy Agency released a full safety report on encapsulated diamond batteries. The conclusion is that there is no radiation risk when properly manufactured. Regulators are catching up fast. The U.S. Nuclear Regulatory Commission has formed a task force just to handle guidelines for this tech. 
In Europe, standards for sealed radioactive sources are being updated to include diamond batteries. Meanwhile, companies like Arkenlite are working with regulators directly, submitting extensive data and helping shape future rules. They're not just waiting, they're leading. In a field where fear can kill innovation, transparency becomes the most powerful tool. The Countdown to 2025 The wait is almost over. After years in the shadows, 2025 is shaping up to be the year nuclear diamond batteries hit the market. But they're not coming with a bang. They're entering quietly, targeted, precise, and ready to prove their worth. NDB will lead the charge with a commercial launch in Q2. Their first product isn't flashy, a battery designed for industrial IoT applications, but it solves a problem where failure costs money, time, and sometimes lives. Priced around $500 per unit, it's not cheap, but it doesn't need to be. In high-stakes environments, one battery that lasts decades is worth every cent. Arkenlight is taking a different path. Their focus is scientific tools and environmental monitors, especially in harsh conditions. Their first units, launching mid-2025, are being tested in Arctic research stations and deep-sea monitors, places where traditional batteries fail. Both companies are avoiding consumer chaos. Instead, they're working with established distributors in industries where power loss is unacceptable. They're also focusing on markets with clearer regulatory pathways like Europe, North America, and Japan. The marketing message is simple, long life, zero maintenance, and unmatched reliability. For now, that message is aimed at experts. But as production scales and prices fall, that message could reach all of us. The future is ready to turn on and stay on. We live in a world defined by limits, battery life, charging cycles, and replacement schedules. But what if those limits disappeared? Nuclear diamond batteries challenge everything we know about power. Quiet, durable, almost eternal. As 2025 begins, this isn't just a leap in energy. It's a shift in thinking. From throwaway to forever. From maintenance to memory. The first wave won't be in your phone or your car but it will be in the places that need it most. And that's how revolutions begin, not loud, but lasting. The light is coming, and this time, it may never go out.